we've got our X macro grip with the compensated kind of the flush look. So if you had the 3.7 inch slide with the 3.7 inch barrel, it would look very similar to this, just without the porting. Okay, there we go. And yes, by the way, this is empty. And there's nothing in it. Let's compare that to an X carry. This is the 3.9 inch barrel P320. 17 round mag. And yes, it is 17 rounds. And yeah, I know it's got all kinds of colors. So we have a much smaller footprint right here. Okay. Look at that grip size and that overall width. This will obviously fit my wife's hand, who's much smaller than me, way better than this will. This can still do everything and shoot the same round that this can. This just fits me a lot better, and this fits her a lot better. That is a wonderful option for the X Macro. Now, this is also a wonderful option for guys who can conceal this size grip. I prefer to carry the XL because I can conceal this much better than this. But those are really great options for this gun. We can look at this compared to this. Again, this is still a P365 X carry. It's just got an actual magwell attached. They're both the medium grips. But this is my primary full-size gun, which yes, true precision again, great slide, um, with a, I believe this is a 4.7 inch threaded barrel, this 4.6, so very, very similar in overall length, and if anyone looks at this slide and says, well, that's the cheapest slide that you can get on the site that I'm going to link to, yeah, I know. I did that on purpose, I wanted to see if it could hold up. This barrel is amazing. I'll put a link to that barrel specifically because it is the cheapest one on the site that I'm going to link to that I get all of my sick parts from. But there we go, check that out. So yeah, very similar capabilities between the two, however this maxes out at a lower capacity than this. You can still get this pretty high. I think there's uh, extensions now, so you can get um, more than 17 rounds. But this, I mean, the possibilities are endless. So let's look at that magazine size, just with the standard size mags, real quick. So we've got the 17 round X macro mag and the 17 round P320 mag. Overall, they are not actually that different. This one's a little wider, that's pretty much it. If I ever carry one of these, I carry it with the sub, uh, with the compact grip, which is a 15 round. Probably won't ever do that again now that we have this grip module, but if you use that plate that comes with the streamline, you can actually fit it on the grips with the three Picatinny notches. It's a little bit of a pain, but you can do it. See? Fits in the last one. You can tighten it down 
and you can actually use a more full-sized, bigger light. You know, that's one reason I don't really want to use these. There's a few jokes you can make about that, but um, I actually already have a lot of Surefire stuff, so I prefer to keep things in a similar family. But this isn't a bad option to you because they run on the same battery. But just to show you, this plate um, doesn't work. It would need one more slot over to actually fully function. I'm sure you could probably rig something, but there you go. So the full size does work. It's got more space in the back. And there you go. This is a holster that I carry with my normal carry gun. Yeah, let me grab this. However, it's supposed to have a TLR7 sub. So that is great. I also have an open one. It's from T-Rex. Shout out T-Rex. Um, this does not fit. This is the X Macro grip. It does not fit. Oh, I wonder why. Well, when you switch from, um, I forget what that rail attachment is called, to Picatinny, uh, some things just don't like to fit. Also, the trigger guard is slightly different. Yeah, these do not fit in XL holsters. So that's a good thing for people to know. I think that's all. If I missed something, feel free to comment and I'll try and get you an answer. And if I don't know, I'll try to figure it out. That's it. Have a great day.